ceremony. Heavenly Father, we are, what a joy it is to be here in your presence and to be a part of this sacred occasion. It's an occasion of love when Savannah and Justin are reaffirming their commitment to love one another. We thank you for the blessedness of the marriage relationship in which two become one, taking their individual personalities and their uniquenesses and merging them into one life that they will share together. Thank you for bringing Justin and Savannah together and for the privilege we have of being here and being a part of this very special occasion in their lives. And as witnesses of this event, we bring Savannah and Justin before you just now and we ask your blessing upon their union that is, as it is affirmed this afternoon. And we pray this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Take each other by hand, both of you, with each other's hands. And Justin, you now commit yourself to Savannah, whose hand you hold, to be her lawful wedded husband. Do you sincerely promise in reverence before God and in the presence of these, your family and friends, to continue to be a loving and tender and true husband, through sunshine and shadow alike, keeping yourself under her alone until death shall separate you. If you just so, will you respond by saying, I do? I do. And will you please repeat your vows to her? Yes, I will. It goes good! Give me a Uh, there's a French proverb. Really? There's a French proverb. 
and six. In love, there's always one who kisses and one who offers a cheek. I just want to if you think of me, to be my wife. I promise to inspire in you the happiness that you deserve and show the world how happy you've made me. I promise to honor and respect you. I promise to be there for you when you need me as long as you both shoulder. I promise to be a good representation of your accomplishments here on Earth. And an example you can one day thank God about. Finally, here's the kicker. <laughs> I promise to be either the kiss on your face or the cheek in me. <laughs> I enjoy the comfort of confidence in knowing that our union is built on trust, joy, love, and friendship. And I am proud to be standing here crying <laughs> with you today in front of everyone who has witnessed a love like ours. Do you sincerely promise and reverence before God and in the presence of your family and friends to commit to Him to be a loving, tender, true life through sunshine and shadow of life, keeping yourself unto Him alone until death shall separate you? If so, will you respond by saying, I do? I do. Would you repeat your vows, please? something that many people will never find in a lifetime. Our love is one in a million. And I promise to continue to share that love for the rest of our lives till death do us part. Yes. <laughs> I don't think there's any question about your love for one another. Thank you for sharing it in that way. Well, having a genuine love in your hearts and expressed in your vows to one another, you've chosen to express that as a continual reminder by the sharing of rings, which will be a seal of your vows that you've made today. These rings are the most important, the most precious metals. And they suggest the most priceless re relationship on earth that is a Christian home. Furthermore, each ring is an endless circle its design tells us that love must never come to an end. You must keep your love continuous. Your relationship must not be broken until you are separated only by death. And as you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be a constant reminder of these promises that you have made today. Justin, as you take this ring, and you place it on the third finger of Savannah's left hand and repeat this promise after me. Savannah. Savannah. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. Yeah. 
Diana, if you take that ring, we place it on the left, on the third finger of Justin's left hand, and you it after me. Justin? Justin? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And with all that I am. With all that I am. All that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. As God is my witness. Hang on, you would just separate for a minute and we can show them this, okay? Okay. Savannah and Justin have chosen, rather than a unity candle, they've chosen to um, express their unity together through these two jars of sand, which will be mixed together to confirm their unity. So as you do that, the two separate bottles of sand symbolize your individual lives and the separate families and separate friends. They represent all that you are and all that you ever will be as an individual. They also represent your lives up to this moment. And there are two containers of sand. When they're poured into the third container, they will be mixed together in such a way so that they cannot be separated. The two containers would then be empty, so that representing the two lives brought together into one. They are forever blended, just as your lives and loves will be, will be formed from this moment forward. sustain them. When joy comes, may they share it together. When sorrow threatens, encourage and support them as they seek to bear it together. And in all the circumstances of life, may they draw closer to each other and to you. We ask for health and for long life. As they continue to dream together, may they find fulfillment in each other's dreams. And may they continue to love and to grow in their stronger in their relationship each day as they journey through life together. This we pray through the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Savannah and Justin, you have come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be joined together as husband and wife. You have stated your promise of faith and devotion to each other. And now, having committed yourselves to one another in this way, it is our joy as your family and friends to congratulate you on this, the first of many years of marriage. And we wish you the best as you begin your journey through life together. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you 
and give you proof. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Justin Whitaker. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> 